quickly dive into the demo. So if you can share my screen. All right, yeah. So I will quickly create a new opportunity. Uh, I will name it. And then we will be setting the close date. I will be setting the account as well. I am going to choose the stage as negotiation and review. Basically, we can choose whatever the date. We can choose whatever the stage we want. For the demo purposes, I have chosen this one. I will click on new quote. I'm going to choose this as a primary quote. I'm going to set a date for this. The other two fields are not needed as of now because I'm not creating a subscription based opportunity or subscription based, you know, quote. So once the quote is created, I will quickly go to the edit line, basically quote line editor. So it's asking me which price book to use. So I am going to use the standard price book. Uh, business can have different, different price books based on different, different regions and different criteria. So when I click on add product, so this is where the guided selling comes into the picture. So as you can see, like it's asking me one question, like what type of door you want? So this particular customer is selling doors across, you know, US region. When I say doors, they are selling doors for garages, they are do selling doors for different, different, you know, uh, buildings, construction sites and everything. So it's asking what type of door are you looking for? So I'm choosing sliding door. It's giving me different, different options for that. So like if I choose some different door, it's going to give me a different option. So I'm going to go ahead with sliding door. I'm going to choose, I want single one, uh, a glass door I'm looking for. So once I click on suggest, it will suggest me all the, you know, products which are relevant to that. Right now I only have one, so it's visible over here and we can see the image as well. So I will quickly choose it. So once I have chosen it, we can see the features of it. So like color coating is not available because glass door does not need a coating, it's glass. So it's uh, hidden over here, but for a different type of product, it would have been visible. So uh, I will quickly go to the handle. So over here, I will choose, uh, I will choose like, I want to iron handle onto the door. And it is going to give me an error, like an iron, hand, uh, iron handle cannot go with a glass door. So this is the validation that you were talking about in the product rule. So I will choose some different one because I cannot choose the iron handle one. So I will choose an iron handle itself, a uh, glass handle itself only. I will choose the wheels. And then I will go to the lock. So if I choose iron, and if I try to save it, it is going to give me an alert message that we talked about. So this business has identified like, you know, uh, iron lock would not go well with the glass door. So uh, we are going to, you know, it's going to give me an error, not an error, but a alert, which I can either ignore or, you know, simply make my decisions again. So I will change it to aluminum lock and I will try to save this. So it's getting saved. Yeah. So over here we can see this particular, you know, product and its line items. I can provide an additional discount from over here. So I'm going to provide a discount of 5%. I can provide, you know, uh, additional discounts at cute level uh, at, you know, product line items as well. But right now I'm providing uh, just a, you know, overall discount. I will click on calculate. Uh, it has calculated me. I will click on save. Now the keyword is saved uh, as we were talking about, like, you know, we can definitely create, you know, uh, keywords from it. So I will simply click on preview document right now. The right now the you know, the view that you will be viewing is a simple template that we have created for the sake of this demo. We can customize it however we want. We can add personalizations accordingly. So right now, as we can see, the code is generated. It is containing all the products, the discounts as well. And we can simply, you know, uh, see the terms and conditions as well. These terms and conditions are also again coming in from a different object that we have. 
and we can configure it however we want. So we can uh, create certain automations like you know if you want to send out certain queue to some uh, somewhere and somebody we can do that. So for the purposes of this demo I will be marking it as approved. Typically it's done via you know uh, process or via some redlining tool so but now for the sake of purposes I'm going to mark it as approved. Once I mark it as approved I can create I can generate an order from it. Once I click on a generate order it is going to create an order for it. So now when I click on generate order when we are creating an order we are moving into how the order will look like and how the you know invoicing would look like. So if I click on order so the order has been created. So yeah the order has been created and I will activate it. order has been activated I will generate a document to uh, yeah. Yeah. so for the invoice I will come over here and I will bill now so again for the sake of this demo I am doing it manually again there is a complete process which goes in on activating the order for you know billing the particular customer for a particular order like from the date of the month cycle like you know on the first uh, first of the month the billing should have run and invoice should have been created but I want it ad hoc so I am doing bill now. So this will generate a invoice as you can see over here. I have kind of just showing you how the invoice would look like again this is all customizable. This invoice has been created for the sake of this demo itself only we can create however we want. So this invoice has been created, we can configure it, we can run automations, we can personalize it however we want. So yeah, this was the, you know, how the Salesforce CPQ would look like and how it would, you know, move forward and how Salesforce can, you know, how we can utilize the power of, you know, CPQ.